Thank you for joining me. This is Flamer Mavic. i uh, doing a video because I got asked a question by a guy uh, on the DJI Mini 2 uh, Assistant using that to flash software to it. And he asked, could he downgrade from 0105 0000 to a lower firmware? And would it be a problem? And sadly, I had to tell him that no, he won't be able to downgrade. And the reason for that is because DJI used something called an ARB or an anti-rollback value. Very similar to uh, Apple phones, where when you uh, want to, if you want to downgrade the software, you go on the phone and it goes off to Apple that way, and it says, "Is this firmware valid?" And Apple goes back, going, "No, you can't have that firmware." Um, but it doesn't work that way with DJI. DJI build the value into the actual firmware. Firmware can't be hacked; it can't be changed. There's no way to change the ARB value at the moment. Um, so, how do you find out what your ARB value is? Well, this is a great tool called the Dank Drone Downloader Tool, or Triple D in the hacking community, because it's easy to say and easy to write as well. And in here, I've chosen the Mavic Mini 2, and chosen the aircraft here. This tool is available, I will put a link down below to it. Uh, and the ARB value is here, uh, in the column art ARB. Now as you can see, they started off with zeros, uh, they went to number one, then they went to two briefly, and then they went to three. Now three at the moment is the highest ARB value uh, for the Mavic Mini 2. Uh, which means if you're on here, you cannot downgrade to 010400, you can't go down to 0103000. Basically, you're stuck at 010500, which is a shame. I keep saying triple zero, four zeros, uh, which is a shame because um, the drone hacks tool, uh, which I will come to in a moment, uh, allows you to do so much with 0103000. And everybody, I think, has just recently decided. Um, to just basically as soon as they see a firmware upgrade bing bang bosh got to do it i'm being told to do it and they do it and then basically they can't downgrade if there's an issue with the firmware well if that's if there's an issue with the firmware and dji know there's an issue they will allow the downgrade because they do that but only through their dji system so the question is is if you are lucky enough uh, to be on arb1 uh, or arb0 and you want to change the firmware Obviously, you can't do it through the DJI assistant. So, what do we use? We use this tool, Drone Hacks. Okay, now I've covered this in depth. There's a whole list of videos on how to use Drone Hacks. So, I'm not going to cover it in this video. Um, so, I'll put a link to my Drone Hacks playlist uh, down below as well. So, if you're interested in Drone Hacks, uh, it's a great tool. Uh, offers so much. Just basically get your quad. You don't have to be the Mini 2, by the way. If you look at the bird map uh, on their webpage, uh, they cover. The Spark, the Mavic Mini, the Mini SE, Mini 2, Mini 3 Pro. Say Mini 3 Pro, they're up there already. Mavic Air, Mavic Air 2, the 2S. Oh, the, well, that's the list for it. Just go and have a look at it because it does go on and on and on quite a lot. Uh, um, someone actually messaged me the other day asking about the Phantom 3 Pro. I don't think it's included anymore. I did do a video about it, show the Phantom 3 Pro some love, but it looks as though they're not, uh, they're not doing it anymore. I'll get in touch with the, the chap who writes it just to double check. But if you've not used it before, like I said, I'll put a link down below uh, to the playlist. It's a great tool, uh, but as I say, you have got to be on uh, a certain firmware. So if I just go to the uh, Mini 2, for instance, here, and I click on that, and I click on the firmware, so the latest firmware, you'll see only available is the DH Companion. It's an Android app. Uh, again, that's in the playlist uh, of videos I've done on the Drone Hacks tool, and you can use that to force FCC power. Uh, for areas that don't and you can also remove the 50 meter height limit uh, imposed on Indian drones whereas if you are on the recommended firmware uh, you can see you can do everything signal hacking altitude limit removal no fly zone removal so if you are lucky enough to have any quad that's on low firmware please don't upgrade it if you intend to want to use the drone hacks tool um, any new drone that comes out don't be one of the first ones to just to say all right this is a firmware version I must upgrade must upgrade because you may not want to, or you may find out later that you wish you hadn't upgraded. So I'm just gonna pop back to uh, DDD for a second, just to cover that a little bit more. You can see there are firmwares in green. Uh, these are unreleased, uh, non-public DJI firmware, so please do not distribute them if you are gonna download them. I'm not sure you'd want to, um, but if you wanna download a firmware and downgrade, um, so let's, for instance, you're on, uh, let's see, 0103009, you wanna go down to, that one, 0102 0000. Um, 
you can use the drone hacks tool to flash that firmware directly onto your quad again flashing firmware is covered in the playlist uh, which i'll put below for the uh, drone hacks tool but that's it uh, just a quick video on the arb system and how dji use it so that's it for me now it's christmas eve i'm now going to enjoy my uh, holidays uh, with the family so to all those i wish you a very merry christmas and um, i won't be back now until after new year unless something comes up that i want to cover so i've been uh, having uh, 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 I've not been drinking yet. Have a happy new year. Take care all and as always fly safely.